Hi, I'm Rita Tatil, and we're talking about recruiting celebrities. In this segment, however, we're going to talk specifically about understanding the mindset of a celebrity, what I lovingly call Celebrity Psych 101. Specifically, in this segment, I'm going to talk about understanding that celebrities are some of the most insecure people on the planet. Yes, I said insecure. Now this goes completely against what most people think about celebrities because you figure if they're in front of people all the time and in the public eye, they must be pretty self-assured. But the opposite is the truth and for very good reason. Think about it this way. If you were a celebrity and every day you walked outside of your home, people recognized you and started talking to you and were really nice to you, but you didn't know whether they were really being nice to you because they were sincerely nice or if they had some sort of hidden agenda or ulterior motive. People will try to take advantage of celebrities if they can, unfortunately, because they represent power and influence, and everybody wants a piece of that. So as a result of being a celebrity and not knowing who to trust, you become every very insecure. And when you become insecure, you do something that many people complain about when it comes to working with celebrities. You become very demanding. Why? See, if you are demanding and you're a celebrity, you are taking control of the situation. And when you take control of the situation, you become secure because you're in control. So next time you hear that a celebrity is demanding, you may want to ask yourself the question first, hmm, are they feeling insecure about something? And then help make them feel secure. Help make them trust you in a way that's honest. I'll give you a great story, so, uh, an example of this. One of the events we used to do every year, uh, coordinate, is the, the Jimmy Stewart Relay Marathon. Prior to this event, there is a VIP reception that takes place in which the sponsors attend along with the celebrities. And there was one particular celebrity that was arriving that I heard was difficult to work with. Well, he has just come into the reception room. I am the first person to greet him. And I notice that he's got something dangling out of his nose. I can't believe it because he has just done the red carpet arrivals and all these people taking photographs of him and nobody has said anything to this poor man. So I said, hi, I'm Rita Tatil. Go like this. And I did that very nonchalantly. And when he did that and he looked down, he got very embarrassed. But you know what? At that moment, that man became putty in my hands because he knew that I was someone that was going to take care of him and someone that he could trust. So he did everything I needed him to do, this so-called difficult celebrity. He sat there for hours taking photographs with sponsors, talking to the media. He was fabulous to work with. 